The Winter Olympics in Canada, an NHS walk-in centre in Southampton, but what links the two? The answer is this, not the phone, but an application that runs on any smartphone. It's called iTriage and was built by US company Healthogen. The new app uses smartphone technology to do two things. Use the picture of the body to select aches or pains or something troubling you. Or more cleverly, the app will use 3G to find the nearest hospital, pharmacy, opticians or doctors. But with thousands of apps already available, would people use it? If I found someone to, like uh, in pain on the floor, I prob it probably wouldn't be my first thing I'd go to. I'd probably just phone an ambulance or something like that. I probably wouldn't go to try and flick through my apps to try and find how to the nearest hospital. I'd just phone an ambulance. Uh, I don't think so. I, I, c I could see it working. Yeah. I mean, if, if I mean, if you didn't know where you were, if you're in the wilderness or whatever, mm -hmm. and it can look like detect where you are. I mean, if it's just click of a button, then it seems it seems like a logical thing. Yeah. Then obviously, yeah, like um, using a phone, you can always phone people. But then, if you don't know where you are, then it's a useful. I can. That's probably the only side of it that I could see the point to, really. I suppose. It's currently being tested among thousands of spectators at the 2010 Winter Olympics, but makers already say it will launch across Canada, the US and the UK by the end of this year, when they will add hospital wait times and ratings to the free service. In Southampton, James Alex Waldron.